Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Anon Jr. Uh, this is the third gaming show that I'm going to be running off of these channels, and I'm going to start off with uh, Season 1 of uh, Games Revisited using Knights of the Old Republic. The good one, not the MMO. Uh, sorry, the MMO was good for a time. And then, uh, yeah, that's another discussion for another day. Um, want to do a little bit of expectation setting before we get started. I want to make it clear that I, I sit somewhere between the two extremes. I am not one of those guys who I just watched the movies and that's all I know about Star Wars. But on the other hand, I am not so deep in the lore I can tell you about Knight barely mentioned once, and the one thing he did in that one book. Um, I've read a couple of the books, I've played some of the games, uh, I have watched the movies and some of the other stuff, other material around it, so kind of sitting somewhere in between that. So if you're expecting a deep, behind-the-scenes, in-depth look at the lore behind the game, uh, that's not going to be this channel. That's going to be a different one. If you're looking for a fun look through a classic game, that's what this channel is going to be. Because I'm going to play it live, um, probably about three hours at least once a week, uh, until we get through the game. I'm not going to try to fast track it, I'm not going to try to drag it along. Um, I just want to enjoy it. And so if you've never had a chance to play it, you've never had a chance to see it, this is your chance to take a look. If you played it back when it came out, here's a chance to get a little bit of that nostalgia going. And um, so the, those are the that's the kind of the parameters that we're going to work with uh, through this series, not just in this game, but that's pretty much going to be the idea as we go along through the different games in the series. And uh, with all that out of the way, let's start a new game. All right. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is based on an older D&D rule set. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons, the pen and paper gaming system. And so you start off by picking your class. They give you three different classes. A scoundrel, um, high skill, they, they, they say skillful rogue, but don't don't think they mean the D&D rogue. Um, although that's kind of the vibe they were going for. That's not quite the way it works out mechanically. Uh, they've got your scout, which is what I am going to be starting off with. It's kind of the balance between the high skill... Um, definitely don't want to be in combat kind of scoundrel and the definitely want to be in combat and you have other teammates for skills kind of soldier <laughs> so uh, true true to a great many characters i play i'm going to play the scout because that's kind of the balance between the two they have a fair number of skills they they do have some combat capacity and uh yeah so i'm definitely gonna go with the scout I have never done a quick anything. Ask my game masters. <laughs> so let's do a custom character and let's walk through the step-by-step -step portrait. Like a lot of the older games, sorry, the classic games, there, there's not a whole lot of customizability. Uh, coming off of a round of playing Fallout 4, um, I'm not used to having this few options. Like, there's a couple of faces, and if you don't like it, tough cookies. That's what you got. <laughs> so, yeah. These are the options, huh? Sure. We'll go, nah, yeah, we'll go with Buzzcut. Okay. Attributes. Now, this is based off of d and and what they're doing is a point-by system, which I absolutely love doing because it gives you the most flexibility, um, as opposed to random rolls because dice hate me. Ask my DM. 
And uh, so this gives me a chance to get the attributes a little bit closer to where I'd like for balance and whatnot. Um, trying to figure out just how in-depth of this I need to go. Let, let's go ahead and let's go all the way through. Um, I did do a little bit of research before building the character because I wanted to make sure that the guy that I'm running through actually has the stats to do something useful and we don't get about halfway through the series and go, man, that was a stupid mistake. Most of what people have written has said that it's really hard to screw it up. You almost have to intentionally screw it up. So at least I got that going for me. Uh, the other thing is apparently nowhere in the game do they mention that lightsabers will use strength or dexterity, whichever is higher for attack. They still use strength for damage, but for attack, the lightsabers will behind the scenes use either strength or dexterity. So strength is a measure of your physical strength. It's, um, it adds to your melee damage and some of that sort of stuff. So I'm going to bump that up just a little bit. I want enough so that the modifier, the thing that gets added on to the strength-based rolls, gets at least a bump. Now, dexterity is your character's agility reflexes, as you can see on the screen. And it's your ranged attack rolls. And I, I do like grenades. It sure is nice when I find some grenades. And it uh, definitely helps your defense rating. And I'm heavy on the defense. And like I mentioned, the dexterity can be used on your lightsabers. And since this is a Star Wars game, you will inevitably, invariably become a Jedi and use lightsabers. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and bump this way up. So that way I get a nice, good, high dex. I'm going to bump my con up a little bit. And I'm going to get that so it's at least not negative. That's at least not negative. All right. Now I got six points to play with here. Strength's about where I'm going to keep it. Dex is where I'm going to keep it. Uh, let's... Bump up the intelligence a little bit more. Because the higher I can get that modifier on the intelligence. Uh, I just realized that the uh, mouse doesn't seem to be showing up on the screen. I'll have to fix that between now and next week. Um, if you look in the top of the screen where it says point cost and modifier, that plus two on the modifier side means that when it comes to level up my character... I'll get whatever skill points I would have normally gotten from my class, plus two more. And since I do like playing with skills, that, that's going to come in handy. Now, it's a little waffly on Wisdom and Charisma, because the Wisdom is used for your will saves, your Charisma is used for Diplomacy, and your social interactions with the non-player characters. They are both used to calculate your force powers. I've only got two more points, though. So I am going to actually go ahead and bump up my wisdom. And I'll, I'll take the hit on charisma for now. Uh, so I won't be able to do much in the way of persuasion, but my will saves will be a little bit higher. So that's the basic idea behind the build I'm going through enough strength so that way it actually does a little bit more damage when I hit enough dexterity so that way I get a decent defense and a really good chance at hitting uh, that's not really going to kick into its utmost until I get off of tutorial world I mean terrace and uh, and start playing with an actual lightsaber the constitution is your fortitude save usually abbreviated your fort save and how many hit points you earn. So I wanted that to be at least a plus one on the modifier side. I'll probably be bumping that up when I get my next couple of levels. And then intelligence, because I like having skills. I, I'm half tempted to bump that down just a little bit so I can add a little more charisma. 
but um, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and let it go right there because I'd rather have the skills and I can just dump skills into diplomacy to uh, counterbalance the low charisma as I go. And um, since the charisma is not negative, it at least doesn't hurt where it's at. I've played some other characters in the past where the charisma was quite the negative and it was quite the negative in the party interactions as well. There's some stories there. Ask my DM. Okay, so we got the attributes. So, let's take a look at those skills. Alright, so we got 20 points to play with based off of the class and intelligence. And these are the different things we can put them to use. If you'll notice in the top right corner where it has point costs and class skill or cross class skill. Uh, in D&D, the game, gaming system that is underpinning all of this. Uh, you have a notion of certain skills that are a part of your class, so they're a part of being a scout. They only cost one point to put ranks in them, which help when you're doing those particular tasks. Cross-class skills are, well, not class skills. And uh, so they cost two points to increase if you want to go about that. So let me try to balance these out amongst the class skills as best as I can. Although I do know that, uh, where did it go? Is it security? Security is used to access electronic devices. Computer used demolition state. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I want. Um, basically, there's one of these that as long as you have at least one rank in, you can break down doors. Uh, and that's pretty... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, security spikes can grant a bonus. And will also appear as a default option on targeted doors and containers. Okay, so yeah, I need at least one point in security if I want to break down a door or open a container. I'm pretty sure somewhere along the way in this game I will want to break down a door or break open a container. So, uh... There's my two points gone for a cross-class skill. I know I am definitely going to want repair. Uh, persuade is cross-class, so I'll only do that if I got points left over. Awareness is good. It helps you um, avoid stealth enemies and mines and that sort of thing. Uh, stealth is a cross-class skill, and I'm not going down that road. Uh, I've done stealthy characters. I've done unstealthy characters. I find the unstealthy characters are a little bit more fun for me to play. So, uh, yeah. I'll skip on the stuff. Demolitions. That's my jam. Computer use. There we go. Alright, and I will want at least a couple ranks and treat injury. So, bump that up again, bump that up again. I'm basically trying to balance out these points as far as it will let me go in the class skills. And I want to say, yeah, four is going to end up being the cap. I wasn't sure if they kept that limit from D&D. Basically, it's three plus your, uh, your character level. So 3 plus 1 gives me a cap of 4 points I can put in. That gives me 2 points remaining. So... Absolutely. Let's put them in Persuade. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to bump that too. So I can throw another 1 into Persuade. Although... Oh, no. I did that wrong. Is it, no, Security is a cross class. Never mind. I did that right. Let me get a little more coffee. <laughs> okay, so I got my computer use, got my demolitions, because, yes, I will be using those. I probably should have put something on awareness, but if, if it ends up looking like it's going to be a problem, I'll do that when I level up. And, um, get a little in persuade, a lot in repair. I do plan on making good use of that. Enough in security that I can break down a door, and enough in treat injury that the med packs will at least heal me up a little bit more than they otherwise would. So, okay. Feats. Two, a left and a right. No, 
These are special things that your character can do above and beyond what a regular person can do. You start off with some just for choosing the class, like this gives me armor proficiency light, armor proficiency medium, flurry, which I might make a little use of at least early game, the ability to put in level 1 implants, which is part of why I chose this class, because that is one of the things that they give you, rapid shot, which is always nice as well, some weapons proficiencies, and now I get to pick one more feat. All right, so... I, I'm not going to be playing in heavy armor. Not this go-around. And I don't think I can do that until... No, I could do that right now if I wanted to. Uh, no heavy armor for this go-around. Two-weapon fighting is something... Is a tree that I am interested in doing. Uh, basically, it lets you either wield a double-bladed weapon or two weapons, one in each hand, with reduced penalties. Um, so that is on the table for consideration. Caution gives you a bump to demolition and stealth, only one of which I'm using, since you only get, uh, since you don't get feats every level. I'm not sure I want to burn a feet on that, especially since the, the end bump is going to be three. Three feats for a plus three? Eh, I can find items that'll do something better than that. Critical strike? That's definitely on the table. That's going to double the critical threat range. Uh, for those of you that don't have a background in D&D, basically what happens is when you attack... The computer is going to roll a 20-sided dice behind the scenes and then add a bunch of stuff to it. Some weapon, if you roll a 20, that's considered a critical hit. Some weapons have a larger critical threat range where it's 19 to 20 or 18 to 20 if you're supremely lucky. And this feat will double the critical threat range. So in other words, if it's normally 20, it'll now be 19 to 20 and so on and so forth. It's going to double that length, which is always nice. Because that gets you extra damage if you succeed. Of course, dice hate me, so maybe I don't want to go with something quite so dice-dependent. Although, if the attack hits, the target is also stunned for six seconds unless they make a fort save at a DC of the attacking character's level plus strength. Eh. Okay, but that is on the that is on the table. <laughs> like things that go boom. Yeah. All right. Empathy gives you a plus one skill bonus to persuade, awareness, and treat injury. That is tempting because I would love to shore up the persuade and awareness and treat injury. But again, we run into the same problem that we had with caution. You're burning three feats for a very small bonus on skills. There, there's going to be other ways to increase those as we go along, so um, that's not on the table. Flurry you get automatically, which is always nice. You can make an extra melee attack during the round at a minor penalty, and you, yeah, I'll admit, when, when I did a little bit of testing to make sure that this was going to stream all right, uh, I made frequent use of Flurry. It really was kind of nice, so I, I'm going to keep that one going as long as I can. All right, gearhead, again, you're burning feats for a minor bump to a couple of skills. I'm not even going to go through the three of them because it's just rehashing at this point. Conditioning. This is possibly worth considering. It's a plus one bonus to all saving throws, which goes up to a plus two and a plus three eventually at the end of the tree. Uh, plus one to saving throws is a little bit bigger than a plus one to a skill. But I'm still not going to prioritize that over the top because there are other ways to increase your, your saving throws. Now the implant levels, I know that I get all three of those as a part of the class, so I'm not going to worry about that. Power attack is another nice one. Since I will eventually go primary, primarily melee damage, things that, you know, you smack people upside the head with, like 
I don't know, lightsabers. Uh, that lets you add an extra five damage to the next attack. You take a little bit on the two hit, but since uh, plus three is the bonus I get for dex, that kind of cancels each other out. So, you know, that's nice. And as we go up, then the bonus goes up, but the penalty stays the same, which is actually kind of nice because my ability to hit will go up as I level up. Power Blast is like Power Attack for Blasters, and I'm going to skip that because once I get a lightsaber, I'm not planning on using too many blasters except in conditions where it seems like it would be really nice to uh, hit somebody from way over there, you know, <laughs> and not be right up on them. Rapid Shot I got as a part of the class. So I'll make use of it while I got it. Basically, it is like Flurry, but for blasters. So you take a minor hit to defense while using the feet, but you get an extra ranged attack. Extra attacks are always nice. Sniper Shot, that's a blaster-focused one, and since I'm not going to do a blaster-heavy build, I'm going to skip it. And same reason why I'm not going to end up increasing the uh, weapons focus on the blaster pistols or the rifles. Now this is a tempting one to do, weapons focus, melee weapons. However, that does not count towards lightsabers. When you finally earn your lightsaber in this game, you get a new entry in here specifically for lightsabers I really wish they would have told you that in the beginning I found that one out the hard way doing a run through the tutorial stuff just to get a feel for the game and all that I was kind of mad that I had put a whole feat to bump a skill that I can't use on the primary weapon of a Jedi that just that seems wrong <laughs> toughness gives you an extra vitality point every time you level up that's nice. Having hit points is always nice. I've never heard somebody say I have too many hit points. However, I got some other options that will do me better in the long run. And then last we got dueling. Ooh, this is a tough one. I don't know if I want to stick with the two weapon fighting or the dueling. Dueling gives you bonuses to attack and defense so long as you have a single one-handed weapon. And unlike a lot of the other feats, this one applies to both ranged and melee weapons. Uh, and Arcadius is letting me know that you also unlock a ton of force feats later to make the choice harder. Finish your earlier chains or start the force. Yeah, there are a bunch of other force feats in there that uh, make the decisions more interesting. So I think for this go round, hmm, it's going to be either the two weapon fighting or the dueling. Since I'm not likely to start off with awesome armor. I'm going to choose the one that helps me with the defense. Yeah. Yeah. Defense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name. Of course. All right. So we've got our character portrait. We've picked all the attribute skills, feats, and stuff. Uh, this is your basic digital character sheet. This is where a lot of things are going to be referenced. That uh, so we see all the skills down on the bottom right hand corner. You see my fortitude save is 3. My reflex is 5. And my will is 3. So that means anytime the game requires me to roll a save, it's going to roll a d20 in the background and add either a 3, a 5, or a 3, depending on which kind of save it's going to be. All right. Let's play some games. Now, because this is an old game and it doesn't handle multi-monitors all that well, I'm curious to see what this does to the stream. Oh. Oh, the movies don't play. 
Oh, that's sad. That's just... Oh. Hmm. Alright. I've got XSplit set to, uh... <laughs> to show the game, and apparently the game isn't the game when it's playing you the movies. So on my screen, I see Knights of the Old Republic 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire. Some stuff was happening. Darth Malak something something... Dark Lord Revan something, Unleash something something. I'm pretty sure you can find the video somewhere on YouTube if you really looked hard for it. Um, I'll try to have this finished because there are some video scenes as you go through the game that are really important to use. So I, I may switch this over to just um, show the primary monitor or something like that. Because that... Oh. I thought I'd found all the, all the surprises. For shame. Sorry, so far only, you're only missing the scrolly text giving you all the things that it's moving too fast for you to read anyway. So, something, 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 Jedi, something, Darth Malak, something, something, beat the Sith. That's about the gist of it, right? And a beautiful vista, reminiscent of A New Hope. With a ship getting attacked. Reminiscent of a new hope. I'm pretty sure the audio is going, so you can at least hear that. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. So. Can I skip this without the game crashing? Because I have had some weird stuff with the game interacting with the stream. Oh, there we go. In game cutscene. The mysterious stranger awakens, confused. The game trope of you just awaking somewhere is continued yet again. Actually, since this came out before, a we've lot been of ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is oh, under really? attack. Hurry up! We We're don't have much attack. time. All right. Uh, I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I, I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Um. Uh, oh, I forgot about the question of alignment. One of the things in D&D that they don't make you expressly pick in the game is alignment. Are you going to be lawful? Are you going to be neutral? Are you going to be chaotic? Are you going to be good? Are you going to be evil? I'm going to take this guy in a neutral good kind of way. So in other words, I'm not going to go out of my way to violate the law, but I'm not going to go out of my way to follow it either. But I'm going to try to do generally good things, mostly. There might be a couple of exceptions, possibly. All right, so who's best? Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Bastila. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore right. an oath just an like everyone like else the... on this oh, mission. Now it's time enough. to make good on that oath. oath. Do we have I heard what everyone's about? saying about you. You've explored the farthest <laughs> reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to yeah, prove yourself. No wonder. I know you're a scout and not I mean, a soldier. I wonder, but, but Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Mm, okay, so let's go help or screw you. I'm going home. Uh, all right, I said I'm neutral good, so let's so go. Hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out right. of here. So hurry up and learn how to work the controls. Journal entry added. All right. This is where they try to tell you how to do everything, so it's going to be kind of slow and clunky. All right. Cardio package. Blaster pistol. Short sword. Clothing. Clothing's good. All right. And let's take everything. 50 XP for opening a locker. I hope our DM is watching. I'd like 50 XP just for opening a locker. 
except like a good wish, I know that's going to get turned around and uh <laughs> Come on, we have to hurry. The <laughs> ship on, might already hurry. be boarding the ship to Stop try and babbling. capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. Learn how to put your clothes on. Okay. Nope, I always pick the wrong one every single time. Okay. Hurry your package. What does that do? Ooh. Okay. That bumps my constitution. Always nice. Extra hit points. Okay. Let's take it. Nothing for the head. Nothing for the hands. Clothing. Does nothing but keep you warm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Nothing for the bracers. Alright, so a short sword is going to do 1 to 6 physical damage with a 20-20 threat range. It is balanced, so if I had taken the two weapon fighting, I could have used that along with the blaster pistol. And they both do about the same damage. That's just a different range. So... Oh yeah, down at the bottom you also notice that green number under 2 hit. With a short sword, I've only got a plus two to hit because short swords are not lightsabers, so it goes by strength. So, let me start with the blaster pistol. At least for now. Alright, that's everything, right? I didn't get any belts. No, nope, no fancy belts. Okay. Okay, let's move out. We should stick okay, together. Let's move You'll out. have more success with a party than we on your own. We should stick together. It's dangerous to go alone. Alright. Because of the attack, okay. this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to How use convenient. me to unlock the door. Okay. Could you could you phrase that a little differently, though? I mean, you know, supposed to use you. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. Yay! A hundred XP for figuring out how to work a character. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. They're only threatening All to overrun our position? Bridge. Let me that know when they Karth are. That was contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help Ooh, defend those. Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get just separated. Case. All right. Alright, do, do, do. do you have anything useful to say? Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I thought you were useful. That door's locked, and I don't have the codes to open it. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. Ah, okay. So, that one bit of security that I took. No problem. This is why. Got it. No problem. Oh. I thought it was good. Uh -huh. These Sith oh. must be the advanced boarding party These Sith for the must Republic. have been the accurate ones before the time of the movies. Alright, yeah. I can do a rapid shot or a regular... Yeah, alright. Let's load up on the rapid shots. And switch to... Do you have eyes on them? Oh, yeah. Let's double down on this dude. And... Oh, and what was the pause button? Uh, what? Space <laughs> I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to you heal our wounds. You got a bad feeling about this? It might be a good idea okay, to huh? use one now before our next battle. Uh, okay. I don't look wounded. You don't look wounded enough that I care. All right. So let's go loot the bodies. That's the best part of D&D, &D, right? Some grenades. Alright. That works. Anybody else got any? Do you have any loot? Do you have any loot? Is there any loot over here? I, I mean, I'm supposed to be finding somebody and looking out for somebody and something. Alright, let's double down on Let's do this. Let's go. Let's toss a grenade at you. And let's double down on you. And you're going to do the same. Right. And I want you doing a regular attack. I want you doing a power attack. Every ah, fine. Be like that. Okay. What? 
And there we go. And what remains of you? A frag grenade. How convenient. And what's in the footlocker? There we go. Let's take it all. Loot it all. Whatever you can carry. If you can't carry it all, you're not trying hard enough. Oh, there's a metal box. What's in the metal box? Med pack? Ah, and somebody's loose change. Alright, uh, are there any other containers or things? No, okay, before I walk through that door, I know I picked up some armor. Armor is always nice. Oh, yeah. That brings me up from 14 to 18 on the armor. Yes, please. And I want to say, yeah. I know my two hit drops, but that brings my damage from 1 to 6 to 2 to 13. So, to the long sword it is. Alright. And what other, what other loot did I get? Yeah, that's right, some med packs and other things. Okay. Alright. Ah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Switch to close quarters oh. combat anyway, so. Oh. Dramatic deaths. Oh. 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 Okay. So, let's toss a grenade. And then start flurrying. And are you even close enough to target them? No, you're not. Not yet. Okay. Sure. Bam! Get you set up to. Yeah, you want to take care of that guy. I want to change my attention to him. Yep. Ooh, no, 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 no. I want to use a med pack. Come on. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to attack first. I want to use the med pack. Ah, fine. Power blast you. And hope yes. this ends well. Okay. Alright. Sith be gone. Alright, so that's the door I came through. I don't know. All I know is that there be remains here to loot. Yes. Please. I will take another grenade. What else we got? Well, we got more remains. What remains of you? Some cash. Alright, I'll take the cash. Well, that doesn't sound good. I uh, hear some Sith. Come on. Alright, I'll take that. And what do you have? Some pocket change, a med pack, and more grenades. Always good. What's in the parts pile? Parts. That makes sense. Alright, that door is busted. Of course, if I was looking at the map in the top left, I would know that that is clearly not where they're trying to route me. This is clearly the door I need to take. It's a dark Jedi! This light is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get, get in the cream. way! This one should be nothing useful. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. Alright. Boom. And let's get you to also start the power and attacking a fool. Alright. Yes. Oh, that works. Cut him up. All these remains are disappearing. Alright, let's take the med pack. Uh oh, and what remains of you? A vibration cell. There's a joke I really, really want to make. But I set the family friendly settings. So I will just let that joke pass. <laughs> no! No, not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Okay, Let, let's go back to looting. Go back to looting. Just la di da di da. Back to looting we go. Alright. Okay. Alright. <coughs> to the bridge. Oh no. Yeah, I want to throw a grenade, but I see allies over there. And I did say I was playing neutral good, so I will actually not be Pasta was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing the stopping them from blasting the Endar spire into galactic it. dust. Okay. Hey, by the way, any of you fools have loot? Do you have any loot? Oh, there's a backpack. And what's in the back? Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, it's empty. Alright, do you have any loot? Do you have any oh you have some loot? I mean, some precious things that should go somewhere safe, like my pocket. Alright, what remains of you? Pocket change. And how about you? Alright. You know the other guy was richer? Did the Sith pay better? Should I be playing this differently? Is that where I get my money? Alright. Somebody else over here. No? Okay. Yes? As in yes, the Sith, Sith pay better? Oh, yeah, that's right. That is going to ask me to level up now. So once you earn enough experience, you move up a level, which gives you more skills and more things and all sorts of fun stuff. However, I want to make sure that I leave enough room that I get more levels of Jedi. So I'm going to try to keep it so that way I cap out at level 5 by the time I'm done with Terrace. You can actually hold off on leveling up. Uh, for purposes of getting through Tutorial City earlier, I am going to level up now. Which gives me some more skills to play with, like that, and that, and that. And sure. Yeah. That works. Actually. I, I probably do want to put at least something in awareness. Okay. And I get a feat... Since I can't pick Improved Dueling until level 4, let me go ahead and pick up that 2-weapon fighting now. So that way I at least have that as an option. I really probably ought to take Power Attack. Nah, that'll be just as useful later. Let me, let me go ahead and get the... Uh, Two weapon fighting. Bam. By the by, that bar on the left is how light side or dark side I am. Apparently I started off counter neutral, which works. 
Forgetting. Or do I need to use you, good sir? Oh. I did level up. Okay. Okay. That works. Something the behind door. here. There's something behind the door? Damn, another dark oh, shadow! I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Um... Or... We could both take him on. And get a fancy sword. No? Oh. It's locked. You must bravely run away. Go. Pull a brave Sir Robin. While I die unnecessarily. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have but to you get to the escape already? pods. I'm the last surviving member? Oh. Alright. And... Do I want to waste a grenade on him? Nah. Let's go up and whack him with a sword a few times. See how he looks. Eat it. That works. The benefit of an extra attack. Aw, oh, he didn't have any loot. Okay, Arcadius, I, I don't think they get paid more. Just some of them. Because if they get paid more, surely he would have some loot. He couldn't have spent all his drinking money before taking over the ship. Well, never mind. I, I've seen some soldiers. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. Bam! Come on. Eat it. No. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. <laughs> you need to Be find careful. some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid yeah, to help you. With a sword. You Be careful. Parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. What sorts of skills could I use? Alright. Let's see. What's in the footlocker? Hopefully not feet. Bikes and parts. Yes, please. Alright. So I could fix home skillet over there. And use him to help me out. There's no other loot to be had over here. Or let's go ahead and go into the security. All right, let's go view the starboard. Yeah, there's all the all the Sith. All right, how many computer spikes do I have? Got five. It's gonna take four of them to actually bust it out. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. That seems safer. All right. Oh look, I found the easy button. And it'll only cost me four spikes. <laughs> Alright. I'm tempted to repair him just for the XP. But since I'm not really pushing the leveling, uh... Yeah, no, I'll skip him. Sorry. Alright. So, who actually had something on the... You good, sir. Ooh. A prototype? How good a prototype. Alright, those are all the bodies to loot. So... So, 2 to 13, plus 3... 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Prototype it is. Yeah, I did equip that. Yes. Okay. Short term memory, something or other. You've oh, made it just dude. in time. There's only one I made active it escape pod Just left. in time. Come on, we can hide it out on the planet have below. Ended any other way. Alright. I'm a soldier with the Republic, right. like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us two? to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions All later. Right. There'll be times for questions later when I'm part of your party. To the escape pod. <laughs> Thank you for that. I wouldn't have known, game, if you hadn't have told me that this is the last one and my only hope. Why would I step away? I'm out of here. Why is that even an option? Oh, here's the animated movie that, unfortunately, XSplit is not showing you of the escape pod leaving and some idiot going, no oh, life signs. Oh, wait, no, that's the movie. Um, <laughs> down to the planet we crash. By some miracle, we'll have survived. Yep, there we go. Do you ever get the feeling of deja vu? Lying on a bed. Thrashing. Oh, this was a video, wasn't it? Yep. So we're seeing... A Jedi, you know, the dark something, fighting... Visions. Things. You'll learn about later. Because of course we can't tell you too much now. What is this? Good to what see you up this? instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever you watching me up. while I was I'm asleep. Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you Good when you didn't keep pod. it awkward. All right. So, Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. What do I want to say in reply? I'm not talking about my visions, so let me just say, hi, I remember you. Consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not. What does to that have to do with safe. anything I said? At least for the moment, we're in an abandoned okay. apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. So we busted into an apartment. Okay. I was able to drag you away from our crash so we're, uh, and all the confusion. Crashing I stumbled in an abandoned, into apartment? abandoned apartment. Was that By right? the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Okay, alright, I can thank you. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about okay, to Okay, so now. I won't thank you next time. Besides, alright, let me go back this out. up. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet wide quarantine. Martial law. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service record that not you lawful. understand a remarkable <laughs> number of alien languages. <laughs> That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should you come just in happen handy to know lots of plot devices. There is That's no pretty rare the in a character. We'll be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade Wait. to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila <laughs> and get off this planet, right. we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Because of course. That's right, she... more yeah. damage yeah. than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was Thank with the strike team that killed Darth I appreciate Revan, you. Malak's Care Sith master. For my Bastila's the key to the whole Republic you know. war effort. The Sith must have found out injury. that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here. I thought Terrace. you told me she was on one of the, of the escape pods effort, and that the escape pod got away. You you think? You believe? Alright. Uh, Alright. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important that is not neutral or... Oh, that's not good. Alright, she can probably look after herself. That's definitely not good. How do you know she's alive? Uh, I am questioning her competence, but I'm pretty sure that's not the tone I want to take. Forget it. I'm not going to try to save her. That's definitely not good. So that's not what I chose. So that leaves me option number five. While you were out, All I did right. some scouting around. There are reports of, of a couple of escape pods you crashing me down alone into the unconscious a on a planet start. under martial law. I see place. how it is. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. So, okay. All right. I'll tell you whatever I can, though. I I don't know how much help it'll be. 
Uh, what do you know about, I know about Malik? Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith master. So how do I get With Revan's to the person death, who knows Malik became knowledge. the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone obvious. who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown because that the Sith, Sith come won't stop flavors? until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik be sitting and there going, Sith don't respect good Sith anything or bad except Sith. raw, brutal power. <laughs> it's hard to imagine how someone who used to right. be a Jedi could become such a monster. What do you mean by a monster? I'm planning on unleashing some raw, brutal power myself. For good. Honest. Alright. Uh, I'm not so dense as to go, Jedi. What do you mean? I actually put, you know, an intelligence above 10. Uh, sounds like, uh, no, that's not good. Uh, ta -da, ta -da. All right. Good um, idea. You seem to we really want to. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some oh, equipment nice. and supplies Free here base. in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the yeah. dark Jedi interrogation Low profile. Techniques. They said the force Go do some things, things, but keep a low profile while you're Wipe about it. Wipe away your memories and destroy gotcha. your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're all right. looking for Basila. Not a couple of grunts like us. Not a couple like of us. grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move out. Okay. Is there anything of use in here? Da, 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 da. What's in the footlocker? Ooh. Some computer spikes. Almost replenished. Workbench. That's right. Because I got the, um... Device. Off of the, uh... Jedi. I guess I'm gonna take her, uh... Upgrade. <laughs> I totally should not have set this as family friendly. So I, I will add her uh, <clears throat> personal upgrade to my sword. Nothing Freudian about that at all. There we go. Alright, that's the only one I can upgrade, so we'll go there. There's nothing else I can upgrade, so alright. Well done. Every time you must select a party. <laughs> Since this is your first time leaving, you'll have to take them. Like what, I'm not going to want to take them later? It's dangerous to go alone. Take that, Yahoo. <laughs> right, you All idiot right. scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. This is a raid. <laughs> Yada yada yada. Oh, help! I'm being repressed. Is that what I heard? Yep, that's what it looks like. There's my That's how we here. Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall get before I lose my wall temper again. Lose my temper. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? <gasps> They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Of course. All right. So. Let's start with the unarmed Yahoo in the middle. I don't want to throw a third grenade because we got non combatants right behind them. Alright, what can you do? I probably should have checked that sooner. So you got power blast, you got a regular attack. Okay, so it's a power blast or a regular attack. Alright, unleash some power on the fools. Starting with that guy in the middle. What? Well, that was quick. I never should have talked back. Thankfully. You're welcome. Most people thank me with money. This isn't the first time. Yeah, okay, sure. Hopefully it'll be the last. Let me know how that works out for you. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, it's not de definitely not going to be stay out of my way. I'll kill you. That is not the kind of character I'm playing this go around. I was tempted, but that's not what I'm going to do this go around. Uh, I don't want to be found. Oh. So you know how to move bodies, huh? Okay. I'll remember that the next time I need some bodies moved. 
Tong Nong Bong Chang Yung Gang. Tong Katok Smack Delia. All right. So, what's in the backpack? Rifles, some grenades. Stuff I'm not going to use, but I might as well sell. All right, I thought there was another set of remains over here somewhere or something. Guess not. Okay. No. Nope. I'll check back later. Maybe the remains will be back then. Alright, thank you once again. Don't worry about the bodies. I'm not worried about the bodies. I'm just worried if you have more information that I might be able to use. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. So that's it. That's all you're going to do is move bodies for me. Alright. Now, he said something about finding supplies, so let's go ahead and... No problem. Got no it. No problem. Who are you? What are you doing are in here? You? you can't just come barging into someone's home. Actually, it looks like I can. Yeah, I'm not looking for something. Well, okay, I am looking for something to steal, but I'm not going to have no say excuse. that. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. <laughs> just one of Darvik's uh, men who wanna... can't keep oh, his hands okay. to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty <laughs> scar from my Vibra Blade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. All right. I, I don't so want do to talk mean? about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, You're I don't know if I can trust about it. you. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure, No, let's try I don't it. think so. I can't afford to trust <laughs> anybody right now. That's what Please, a Please, just leave me alone. Uh, I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's mm. going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Darvik's well, me men who can't it again. keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble can't was a nasty scar from my Vibra Blade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want mm. to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble yeah, already. Roll it again. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, Try I suppose again. you seem like yes. an all right sort. <laughs> Eventually, the dice will win out. Back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on hey, my head for language. what I did. That's this why I'm hiding out channel. here. Ooh, that's so tempting. Okay, is there anything I, I doubt can do? it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the All local right. crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid oh, this is between so is me and Holden place. now. All right. Uh, yeah. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina try. in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. All right. Uh, I can't help you there. Since this thing. Okay. All right. Goodbye and good you luck. Clearly have I hope you can talk some you. sense into Holden. All right, so I'll be coming back to talk to you later. All right, he still hasn't cleaned up the bodies. Probably won't until I leave. You're kind. What do you mean by that? Illegal I guess since I'm not a native with that also. Hey, All right. Alright, no, no, I'll be nice. I'll like something more flies with honey than vinegar. Oh. Uh -huh. The latest thing, you know. Okay. Yeah. You have one. And it isn't cheap. Okay. Surely nobody I beat up is going to have one on him at all. No, nope. it's not going to happen later. How reasonable are your prices? How sound is the merchandise? Sure, why not? What are you, ma? Oh, okay. Uh, Do that kind of merchant. 
Cuando gotcha. cus de ching pa la mula de tonque. Tan is tu ponco cookie mac panca. Ching pa la chisca mule tu narana nu prata. Donco si cha tu ma wama ma tu. Que va a tomar. Certain themes kind of hard. Y ya yo lord ya. Quinto no bule rajico. Chan shock bulara. Umra chisca duchi. No self respecting. On chuban chisca yanki. Titoke gratun kun chicha kun king. It's not so bad. Four walls, try, one. Letting him sit empty. Yeah, otherwise you get squatters. Like and other people hiding out from the authorities. Like me. And they don't pay rent. Like me. Okay. Uh, aren't you worried about getting caught? Oh, okay. <laughs> How convenient for the plot. I mean, for you. Okay. Not worth the bother. How lucky we found such a place. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't live here. Alright, let's see what you got. Wonga kun be stulpi kikuyana. Tong patugas bakdelia. Alright. Now. Let me unload what I don't need. I need med packs. And repair kits. Uh can't remember when you pick up one of the droid minions, so I'll hang on to that for now. Computer spikes I'll need, parts I'll need, clothing... Nah, I don't need that anymore. I got armor. Alright, um... Strength bonus. That could be useful. Plus 4 strength for 120 seconds? No, I'll hang on to that. Plus 4 con? Nah. Clarity, plus four dex. If I remember that I have that, that will be useful. Alright. Cold damage and paralyze. Yeah, no, I'll keep all the grenades. Now the question is, do I want to keep... I know I want to keep the ion pistol, because that has... Or the ion blaster. The question is, do I want the rifle or the pistol? Rifle's gonna give me better range, better damage. Because I do want to have something distance for when that makes sense. Alright, let me get rid of the blasters I don't need. I'll keep the rifle and the ion. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. 12, 1 to 10, 1 to 6. Alright, let me get rid of the short swords. Let me keep a long sword for Mr. Back of the Bus over there. And sell these guys. Because having credits is always nice. Armor is also nice. Do I want to spend all my money on armor, though? Alright, what are my options? I got some medium armor that'll give me an extra bump up to six. Some light armor. That'll give me a bump up to five. Mm, I think that's what I got already. That'll get me up to seven. Take up all my money. All right. Yeah. Give me the armor. Okay. So, let's upgrade up to a military suit. 
What do you have? You just have regular clothing, so you will now get a combat suit. Do I have anything else you can equip? Nah, just the two blaster pistols. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and level up to three for now. Skills, bam, bam, yep. I feel like I should be putting more in Persuade. I took a couple extra tries. <laughs> uh, let me bump up the treat injury because I want the med packs to give me a little bit more. All right, feats. I can't do the next in two weapon fighting. I can't do the next in flurry. I can't do the next in improved dueling. Hmm. Uh, that's nice, but that's not worth a feat. Heavy weapons is always nice, but not worth a feat. Not for what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, sniper shot, no. Oh, that's right, I was going to do power attack. So I could have that on, on the menu. So I don't have anything else that I really desperately want to spend the feat on at the moment. Yeah, okay. Power attack it is. Bam. Do you level up? No, of course not. Okay, oh. Scripts lets you do all sorts of fun things. Jedi, droid support, uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, there you go. You can be my grenade slinging. Something, something. Alright. Hello, Do not wish to engage in conversation with you. Thank you, Captain Useless. Alright. No problem. Nope. Got it. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko sercha chupa panki. Okay, well, you know, since he said so, what you got? Are you the same guy? Yeah. All right. As to the upper city, I don't want to go there yet. I want to see what else is in here first. Right. Of course, into the other. No problem. Nope. Got it. And what do you have to say for yourself? And keep behind Borutia. Well, do you have nothing of value? Well, since you consider that nothing of value, uh, I, I guess I can take it off your hands. Anything to pick up in here? Nope. Alright. Generic Twilight number 273. <laughs> And he there, what well, what what we you're walking? I just clean those <laughs> floors. Could, could, could you lean a little bit harder into that janitor thing? Alright. Uh, mm, uh, oh, well sorry. all right then, no hard feeling. No My hard name's feelings. Kadir, I'm the janitor. My name's for Jethro. This building. I am the janitor. Be the new tenant here, right? Never thought yeah. they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Mm. Of course you I'm look renting like it. an off worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any the other big reason sword I'm walking around carrying? I don't see anybody else carrying a sword. All right. Let's see. Don't Do you have information? I don't know how much you can tell me either, but I, can try I won't find out until I ask, right? 
Right. Tell me about enough tariffs. place to live, I guess, except swoop for the gangs. lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also <laughs> might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when Not I was younger. Gangs. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Alright, where is this Just cantina? Just keep following where the can I get a good complex drink? ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. And from there, the elevator will take you to the south upper streets. You can't miss good to know. So happy you're able to give well, me such vital information. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Right. Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. Oh, you mean She's not the guy right around the corner? She's right across from the canteen. That's not the best place to go. For a drink if you get Are you saying you got ripped off on some armor? Just keep following the apartment complex ring yeah. until you come to the elevator. It'll <laughs> take you out to the upper streets there. Then. And from there, oh. just head south a ways. Head Can't south a ways. It. Second paved road on the right, right? Okay. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you. Alright, uh, I asked about that, I asked about that. What Not else do you have? Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks really? are sure I couldn't have riled told up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer don't to Don't know keep much to about nothing. But there's nope. plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to oh. tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. I bet they will tell me exactly what they think. All right. I should get so that seems to be work, all anyway. you have to say. Probably see you around. Yeah, you should probably you get back to work. The, the building doesn't mm -hmm. clean itself, you know. I thought we had robots for that. Isn't this the future? All right, so there's my apartment door. That brings me full circle. Yeah, let's go find the elevator. That wasn't that far away in this direction, was it? Or maybe it was the other way. I am slightly directionally challenged. Bear with me. Oh yeah, I already looted that bag. Okay. Hey, Mr. Named, you're not generic. <laughs> okay. Fine. Why are you still talking? I've moved on. You should too. Hey man. What's this? Another What's off worlder? Up, I didn't realize how many of you there were on Terrace until this sit mm, Burn. Alright, let's fill out the name map. You say anything useful? Nope. You're busy salvaging the public. Oh, maybe you should talk to him. Nah, don't. Yeah, okay. Yes, Come what's on. in your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things oh. have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what Biggest I hear, the wealthy live on the top of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Uh, That's seems all I can to be think nothing of, new there. Anyway. Alright. Me? Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been a I'd like a resume of the guy who's gonna be following around behind me with two blasters in their hand. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these <laughs> Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall mm -hmm. to Malik's fleet. The Sith oh, one bombed of the first, it into huh? submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do. To As stop opposed it. to bombing it not into submission? Alright, uh, sympathetic or Dude, seriously. Yeah, I'll go I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. That's what I get from my orders and I do my duty. Fine. It, it's just I won't be the next time. <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I I didn't. Fail. Yeah, no, I Yes, no. That's, that's not, what, I mean. not what I meant. I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense anymore. No, you're not making much sense. So I'm just not accustomed it's probably going to be at least five or six more conversations all, before you make actually. sense, isn't it? I'm more used to taking the action. This is going to be one of those things. Focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Ask them later. Okay, it's later. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. You got it. You appear to not have anything new. Alright, fill in the mini map. Do, 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 
Don't mind me. I'm just filling in the map. Nice weapons you have there. Hello there. Yeah, any I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Yurt. Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Mm. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Well, mostly. mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons mm -hmm. and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still so got to be that's not sounding like you have everything I want. Alright. Uh, what you got? Just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining No here. bargaining? It's in a swap Aww. meet, okay? I With only deal charisma? in top-notch stuff. Uh-huh. Top-notch stuff, huh? Alright. da 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 Actually, I did get ripped off. Uh, I'll have to remember that later. Okay. Anything worth getting? Vibrant blades, quarter staff, short swords, double bladed. Ooh, that could have been nice. Sniper rifle. All right. Uh, no, because I'm not doing any of that either. Detonators, huh? Okay. I'm up for blowing stuff up. Alright. I haven't taken much in the way of loot that I want to sell, so... Alright. Hey, you. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams into the Undercity. Oh. I heard they're looking for Republic survivors to take... I'm here on official Sith business. Okay. I won't bother you, Mr. Official Sith Business. Go to the cantina. Is it not? No duels in the arena. Hello there, youngster. You Good interested there, in young buying boy. the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Why Don't are you get me wrong. Game the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span so of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've that won far. countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But yeah, that was long lost a few ago. Fortunes. If you're here, things have changed. Gambling is a young, a young man's, man's game. game. That's why I'm looking to get to out. My offer still stands. Okay. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford okay. it. Yeah, if I can afford it. Yeah, sure. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The, the rules game. are pretty simple. Here. I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, hey. is there anything else I can do for you? He said there's going to be a free lesson. Alright, before each match, you must collect 10 cards from your side deck. Four of these will be randomly drawn, which means I will get the worst four I could possibly have. Alright, two of each card available to create a side deck. You can find other cards. Select your side deck now. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice since those are the only ten cards I have. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I would like to use the only cards I have. Alright, the object of the game is to have your face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding 20. Or playing blackjack. Sort of. Alright, player's total is greater than 20. Da -da 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 -da. Three sets to win the match. Okay. Draw a card from... Oh, okay. No, no, no. Draw a card from the main deck. Um, and this is done automatically. Okay. 
This is your hand for the match, made up of four cards randomly drawn from the side deck you selected earlier. These cards have to last through all the sets of the match. Okay. So that means basically hold until the very last minute. Gotcha. All right. Uh, well, hold or stand. Uh, you can only play one card from your hand each turn by dragging it onto the board or by double clicking it. Okay. It's an optional move. Okay. During your travels, you might find cards. Read, you're going to find some cards. Some of them are very rare. Read, they're really expensive. Save up your credits. Okay. And card must be declared as positive or negative before it's played. Okay. End turn or stand. If you choose end turn, you will draw another card on your next turn. Okay. If you choose stand, you will not draw any more cards and you cannot play any more. Okay. All right, so I'm going to end turn. Your opponent uses the same rules you do. Each turn they draw. Okay. Raise a five. I'm at 16. I can play that for 20. Then stand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you automatically stand. Okay. Bust. Draw one more card. Ah, oh, of course it's tied. Because dice hate me. This is why I don't play a lot of games of chance. All right. Round and round we go. Yeah, I ain't doing anything with a three. Not with an eight. Ooh. That four sure would have been nice. All right. What are, what are the odds that I'm going to get four or less on the next card? Can you count cards in a digital game? That only helps if you know how many cards there are. <laughs> yeah, I know. My luck fails even a galaxy far, far away. Alright, <laughs> right, you know what? Let me go. Yeah, let me just stand. Hopefully this dude will bust, right? No, of course not, because he drew a one. All right, all right. So you got to win three sets. All right, uh, in turn. Yeah. And sure. All right, thank you for reminding me of that rule. And of course it's tied. <laughs> I, I really think that they, 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 this is rigged, isn't it? This is a rigged game. I, I, do you see any markings on the deck? Does that look like a mark card? Where's the draw pile? I, I demand a referee in the CD bar on the underside of the galaxy. There's all the low cards I really could have used, you know, earlier. Beans. Uh, all right, so I can tie him, which doesn't help me. I could try my luck for another card, which doesn't seem likely. So let me see if he... Yeah, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I'm about to lose the tutorial match. I think I was fated to lose the tutorial match. And bam. And stand. Oh, hey, I won. Just enough to keep you interested. You wouldn't want to quit early now, would you? There's credits to be earned. <laughs> Psst, hey, kid. First hit's free. Ooh, stand on the 18. Yeah. Because, of course, he's going to get a 19. <laughs> you have been defeated. Of course. Of course. Okay. The match is over. Thank you for that. Not only did you have to tell me you have been defeated, 
But not only have you been defeated, but the match is over. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <sighs> okay. Alright, who else is there to talk to? Hey, lady. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy. No. I don't love watching the Pazak players. They're it's kicking my butt, even the older flushed. tired guy. Um, I thought this was a family-friendly game. Maybe I gotta up the rating if I want to keep, you know, with the dialogue and all that. What do you want? All right. Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> the best Pazak player on Taurus. All right. And my name is Niklas. I'm the unofficial champion of the oh, Pazak the circuit unofficial here champion. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few uh -huh. hands. Questions? Questions? <laughs> I don't, I don't need to answer those no stinking questions. If you want to play Pazak, then let's play. If not, then quit crowding my gambling table. Okay, stereotypical Russian. Sure. I'm going Let's to enjoy it. relieving you of All your right. credits almost as much as I'm hey, going hey, to hey, enjoy hey. humiliating you. Shut up, I'm you. giving you free money. <laughs> I'm playing you, so I'm going to give you free money. What's the minimum wager? Um, can I play for one credit? That will be the time that I win, won't it? I wager one flipping credit. I only have 52 credits to play with, so... Uh, we can lose 10. Alright, I don't have enough for a change up the side decks. Are you sure? Yeah, those are the only cards I have. Alright. Yep, holding on the 6. Hmm. Alright, uh, now let me see what the next draw is. 17. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Come on. Bust. Bust. Woohoo. All right. I won a set. Could be a change in luck for me. And the universe could go upside down. All right, yeah, hold on, Ted. Huh. All right. 17. I could tie for 20. Means neither one of us go, but then I'm out of card. Let's try my luck. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but at least I'm not out of card. That's it. Yep. No, I know. He won. Of course he did. But you win just enough to keep you into the game, right? That's how this works? Is this the Vegas planet? Alright. Let's try holding at 20. See if I can force him to bust again. There we go. Hot diggity. Alright. Hold on 9. I'll hold on to 14. I could do 19 and then hold. What are the odds? Oh, of course he does. <laughs> of course he did. Of course. He had that negative three the whole time. Are you kidding me? Come on. Check his sleeves. What's he gets up his sleeves? I've seen this movie. I know how this goes. Somebody's cheating. Alright, let's use our last one. Come on. This worked out so well the last time. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Alright, I don't have anything to lose. I lose either way, right? Yeah. The only way to win is not to play. I, yeah, you have been defeated. Pazak is not for everyone. It yeah, requires it's not both for nerve, nerve and, and skill. skill. 
Perhaps and good you dice. Practice before risking uh -huh. your credits against such a skilled player as myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unless you like losing. Games of chance, huh? Uh, nope, nope. If you ever wish to I don't have enough money to. The best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Maybe I should enable cheats and you know slash give myself enough gold just to beat him, just once. All right, that's everybody in here. So. Hi there. Arena. I haven't seen you around before. Hi there. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers You're being awfully friendly. Base much time off. Oh, okay. You know, I'm on duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, mm. first class with the Sith occupation force. Yada yada yada. All right. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people well, here on Taras know. can't stand us. Sith. You're surprised. Make this job pretty lonely. How else do I get information? Uh, I'm not going to try to persuade You're with my player. roles. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry right. being stuck on a foreign planet and all. You know, it's like yeah. everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Oh, yeah. Don't, Don't they, know they know we have, we have to, to make, make the best, best of things? things? They're only getting bombed. Oh. Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask okay. you to sign to this backwater you, you, you planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment Stay like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. <laughs> it's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about right. this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the gets military lonely, base. Huh? I have to so get the game's going to go there, I've huh? got a ship to the military okay. base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. Oh, I'd really like a to little see party. You. Why don't you drop by the party? Oh. I'll show you where Good. it is on your map. Bring my sword. That don't be good. late. We're starting right after our ships end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward oh. to seeing you there. She implying what I think she's implying? Because I think that's about to... Okay. All right. Tunisian Why are you speaking to me? Why can't are you, you speaking tell to from me? my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man uh, of my Uh-huh. You're so lucky talk is my only option. I ought to smack you with the flat side of my sword for that. Alright. No you hard feelings, say. my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult Seriously? enough to draw the interest of the ladies You're gonna go there too? establishment as it is. Surely you understand do, do you not see the about. big freaking sword in my hand? I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. You, you're Something gonna, I'm hoping you're gonna to talk avoid like that tonight. To me? The armored dude with the sword in his hand? You know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this planet. Uh, yeah. But do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence in our faces? Uh, I don't see them rubbing their presence in their face. They seem to be enjoying the establishment. The band's pretty good, but I'm getting a little sick of them. If it wasn't for the Sith quarantine, maybe we could get somebody new in here to play. <laughs> okay. Can I talk to you? Nope. He's too busy. He's too busy. What about you? Come on. Get out of the way, minion. This is why I don't like playing with minions. Okay. And you're too busy. Yep. You're too play. All right, what about I don't you? know what the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Look at them. They're dressed dirty like little dirty space, space wenches. That's my alt-rock cover band. Dirty little space wenches. I Come wish on. the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the intercity looking for the Republic escape pods and they reek of the sewers. Yeah, but drinks is what makes the economy go around. Oh, there's too many people in this cantina since they added the music room in the back. Oh. They come here to relax, not to fight with crowds. Okay, that's you aren't from Terrace, are you? Do no, yourself a not. favor and stay away from the Teresian Ale. It packs more kick than most uh -huh. off-worlders can handle. Have you Is gone into the music room in the back? Either? Yeah, I don't care much for the band, but those dancing Twi'leks uh -huh. are something else, I'm telling you now. Okay, nice outfit. Right I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. Are you serious? Gamma. It's you a good talk? thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off duty. 
that should keep them from closing this cantina down. All right, that's at least a better way to look at it. Right, I'll talk to you a little bit later. You aren't from you Terrace, are you? You know, from Do yourself here. a favor and stay away Thank from the Trejan Ale. Yep, yep, Trejan Ale. I wish the off-duty sit and stop coming here for some drinks. And scouring the intercity looking for... I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customer. I'm not here to chat. I just finished a... Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I won't have you in for questioning. In for questioning, all right. Taris isn't such a bad. The place. last lady was a lot I've been nicer. stationed in worse places than this during my commission. Okay. Do I know you? Do I no. know you? Then why are you speaking to me? Okay. All right. I see how that's gonna be. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where well, are those drinks we ordered? There's this guy in a shady corner. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nice. Nice. I get the feeling this spoiled brat can cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One oh. word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Seriously. Uh, it's sure. too late for nope. apologies. Daddy's going to hear Daddy's about this. Hear about You'll this. lose your job lose for your sure. Job for sure. Okay. No way that's not going to come around. Okay. We'll see how that like bit of karma. I used to watch it all the time. No, I don't like Pazak. Um, no, uh, I don't, I don't know what about. the guys in here find so attractive about those Twi'leks. Yeah, yeah. Look at them. Okay. They're dressed I see like we've got, I wish the yeah. off-duty Sith would stop coming okay. in here for drinks. I mean, scouring the inner city looking for the Republic escape pod. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? Like a commoner. It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're uh -oh. gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're oh, about okay. to start. So quit complaining and they're just watch the blue screen. Ladies and minute. gentlemen, I draw your attention Sunday, to the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Here, two In the Here, two will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. So we're definitely in space for this. Bet on the gladiators. And over here. Looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan! Dead Eye Duncan, eh? Huh? Alright. Ten paces and go. Ready? Sit. <laughs> Did he seriously drop his gun? And to nobody's great surprise, Dead Eye is Actually, down again! After a Nobody previous campaign, I really shouldn't be picking on anybody about dropping weapons. Our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So uh, I give you the quick. winner, Golan Kufinga. I, I didn't pay for this match, but I still want my money back. <laughs> so, that happened. All right. It's good to see Mars still around after all these years. Mm -hmm. He proves this isn't just a young man's game. There's just the quick and the dead. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Uh huh. All right, come on. Open fire, shoot. Okay. Uh. Yeah, no, I think that's. Yep. Dude, do you really want to wave those around when you're talking like that? Because, uh... uh -huh. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> yes, please. I'll take my complimentary med pack. I'm not even a gladiator yet. Alright, let's talk to the loser first. Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? At? You want to you step want in the dueling me? chambers with me? Well, yes, after you drop that blaster, yes. Yeah, you don't talk. look so tough. Go speak with the hot in the right. corner to back it up. Please He's the talk. duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Okay, what rank Fresh are you? Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. Because they said you're losing streak, huh? Okay. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to, you step, to step into the, the duel ring? ring? Uh, yes. Good to see some new As a matter of fact, I do. Game. Okay. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the Azure dual the organizer. Hutt? He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. 
Why, why you guys say Duncan like that? What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling mm -hmm. chambers with me? No, actually, I want to see if you have. Uh, I'm Dead Eye Duncan, the number five ranked duelist number in this cantina. Ranked. You must okay. have seen me in the dueling chambers, right? How many guys in this cantina? Out of how many? Uh, five. But it's an elite oh, group, okay. okay? It's not <laughs> like just anyone can step into <laughs> the dueling chamber. Group. Not just no, anybody can step into the dueling can. chamber. You gotta not walk up do. to the hut and ask for it first. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay, right. Yeah. Back off. No. You know better than the challenge, Dead-Eyed Duncan. Yeah, uh, I will mess you mess up. Mess you up. Yeah, okay. I'll talk. Yeah, I talk to him, I talk to him. Yeah. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. Well, I wasn't going to say that. Someone who looks so Graphics have come a long way since this game came up. Eyes. Well, I've okay. heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring. Not to have some slack-drawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. You know Russian, what? Russian. I'm not one for friendly chit-chat. No. So I'm just going to really? deliver the I cold, tell you. hard You're not one for friendly chit-chat. I don't chit -chat. want to waste any more time with you. Okay. Well, now yeah, you know okay. why they call me Ice. If you're looking right. for a match, ice, go ice, talk baby. to Azure. Ice, He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Are you trying to imply that I can't miss the hut? Hello there, right. Offworld. Marl. Allow me to introduce myself. Marl. My name is Marl. I'm one of the duelists here at the camp. Is that like I Carl's distant, distant cousin from... Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well yeah, because you see me talk to everybody, so I'm not going to ask where you expect me. No, you saw me go on person to person. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles. Looking for uh, a little excitement okay. and drab lives. I look different. But you're different. You look like you know uh, a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing thank you, you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines. Somebody and recognizes watch that the guy walking Are around in armor and a sword knows something about combat. Alright. Uh, tell the me more about this. Duels are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. <laughs> One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If How you're interested in cut? setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. Uh, He'll make all the arrangements. Cut. Okay. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Maybe. Come, right. oh, Mr. Hut. Burning windows closed, no more fights, yada yada yada, same duelist. Wah, 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 wah. Bad for business. Unless you just happen to be the one who walks up. Almost like the game set it up so you could earn some money. Yeah, highly profitable. How profitable? Because, you know, I hear a hut telling me highly profitable and I hear I'm going to get screwed out of money. That's what I hear. Alright, now that might be interesting. What's in it for me? 10% right. of all wages. Hmm. Okay. No death matches. I feel a little bit safer a little bit. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use whatever. Thank you for that. Good to know. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I Thank get the you. feeling you're trying That's to get out That's what I'm talking about. Uh, an energy suppressor feel. Alright. <laughs> so, nobody can get hurt. Or, nobody can die. But just in case, we got a medic on hand. So, don't worry. What are the odds I can persuade a hut? Okay, what are the odds I can persuade a hut? Oh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my problem. Pay me more. <laughs> yeah, minus two. Exactly. That, that's, yeah. 10%. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll take 10%. Need a nickname. 
Shut up and give me the options. <laughs> mysterious stranger. Low profile. Low profile. Sure. Perfect. I don't, I don't care. Just as long as I don't get caught by the sofa. Supposed to be keeping a low profile, which is why I'm going to go fight in the public arena in a televised match. Because that's a low profile. But I'll be hidden by my thing. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, <laughs> but using your real Oh, oh, so you're encouraging this. Okay, all right, so yeah. We're on the save wavelength, you know. Money's money, money spends. Hard to be on the lamb when you don't have money, especially when you lose it all in Pazak. <clears throat> All right, sure. Let's do this. Show me the money. All right. Yeah, you already told me all this. Or is this in case somebody, you know, just went straight to the fighting and skipped the rules? That's probably why I repeat it. Death matches early. Yada yada yada. Yad. Can I take my minion with me? I mean, this is kind of like a Batman and Robin thing, right? right? Yeah, sure. He doesn't scare me. Ladies Thanks, and Gerd. gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a, we very, have a very special, special match in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time <laughs> he's okay. after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you. So, he's a gladiator by virtue of signing up. Gotcha. Relative newcomer to the tennis. Bro, what do you mean relative newcomer? Ain't none of them two who see me. No past and no name. The no mysterious name. stranger. All right. I want a journal entry. I'm gonna go beat the snot out of this dude. Actually, no. What I want to do. So I want to toss a grenade. And then beat the snot out of him. Okay. Oh. Alright. I was not expecting that. Miss, miss, miss. Because dice roll. <laughs> it's over! The fight that, is over! That one quicker. The mysterious stranger has right. won! But we are Thank any you of for the high hole, Ingo Hearted 449. You have to do better than that to impress Welcome us. Welcome to the first Peter. run through. Where I just bit, beat up Captain McEasy face there. Alright. I'll take the XP. Can, can I go rub it in? What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat yeah, me in yeah. the dueling ring and now you're going to rub Actually, it in my face. I am here to rub it in your face. It. So pardon me if I ignore <laughs> your gloating. Uh... Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you yeah. got the better of me. Look, well, I admit you it, know. you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Ouch. Is that what you I wanted did. to hear? You satisfied yet? I wasn't, Are you I wasn't happy gonna be now that harsh. Are you taking the last shred of dignity I I was had? planning on being harsh, but not that harsh. Yeah, I'm happy now. Rat. Okay, fine. Let me go collect some more. <laughs> Makes me happy. Yeah, so how much is 10% of a lot? Is it really 10%? Or is this like, you know, 10%? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're a hut. I'm going to get 10%. <laughs> 100 credit. Okay, if that's 10%. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Grady is the hot 10%. <laughs> Alright. I see four of them yahoos over there. Who's next? You're back. Yes, it's almost like I never left. 
Look, I just want show me the money. Show me the money. All right. Yeah, fought well last time. I, I took out number five of five, who apparently a uh, tech with a rusty one-legged tech with a rusty knife could take out. <laughs> so ten percent. Yeah. Alright. Oh, they did bend lots. I mean, if 10%, if a hut's 10% is 100 credits, then yeah, okay. Do, do I get the best or do I just get number four? Okay. <laughs> uses blasters in the ring sometimes. Gotcha. Okay. You ready to step into the... You ready to rumble? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> draw your eyes to the center ring. We have yeah, a very match. special presentation. Almost immediately following the last in match. Spot, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring <laughs> injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> yeah, I give it. you Gerlang Kuzinga. And in the other corner, right. a relative newcomer to the Taris doing Now you can say relative newcomer. No, no, no past, except the victory. No, no past, except the victory. The no name, stranger. except the name I'm going to tell you. <laughs> All right. Let's try opening up with the grenade again. There we go. Bam. Eat it. That. It's over. The that was actually kind of easy. Over. The mysterious stranger okay. has won. Gerlang losing to a rookie. Is oh, this a sign that his injuries <laughs> have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Right. Well, that went well. All right. More XP, another journal entry. You beat me fair what and you square, stranger. Say? But if I mm. still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Well, the use of your fingers. Back before my injury, but I would have mopped the ring. For somebody up with, with you. busted fingers, I'm not sure you'd really want to rely on a blaster. I mean, I hear that requires the use of, you know, your fingers. And I bet a lot. How much is a lot? I know it makes you happy and rich. That, those are redundant phrases. What I want to know is how much is my cut? Will I also be happy and rich? Alright. Come on. Shut up and give me my 10%. Do I look like I'm here to chat? Ooh. Okay. That works. Alright. Two more, alright. Alright, let's see. Come on, all. I need you back. Because I haven't left. Yada yada yada. Alright, come back. You want another fight, right? Ring is in your blood. No, money is in my blood. I don't care about the cheers of the crowd. I don't care about the rush of the battle. I need money. money. Yeah. Well, I do need to fight again. And if he'd actually, you know, just get to the park. The best duels? Yeah, I'm ready for a duel. Who's next? Alright. Huge purse. Red. Alright. How huge is a huge purse? That's what I want to know. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your oh, eyes look. to the center ring. To the next fight. So recent, there's still a grenade mark on the other Over end of the arena. <laughs> we haven't even had a chance to clear it up. Okay. <laughs> All right.
Uh, I don't want to run through all my frag grenades, so yeah, let's throw that guy. Alright, that's promising. Damn! Oh, finish her! Yes. If flurry of misses. Back in there. Come on. Seriously. Hit the chips. Uh. 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 I should have hit that back sooner. Okay. Hard luck, stranger. The ring. Hard luck, right. stranger but ice is tough. Here's the question. Do I want to grind that one again now, or do I want to go ahead and go about the rest of the planet? Yeah, I'll come back to that one. Alright, you gonna tell me hard luck, no money? I'm gonna bet a lot when we fight. Makes you happy and rich. Fat and happy. I see. You don't pay for losing. Okay. Right, let me... let me go replenish my life? Not right now. I'm like next to dead. See, I'm only mostly dead. Alright. Although I'm curious, does she have anything to say? Let me guess. Oh, yeah. Now that you're a chat about? You figure we have something in common. Something to chat about, right? Wrong. Just because we're both duelists doesn't mean okay, we're suddenly okay. friends. So give, give me some, some space. space, stranger. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay. Fine. Nothing more to say. And that brings us back to Captain Fazak. All right. Yeah, botch. That's my luck. All right. Um. Well, that's not good. I don't actually want to attack first. I want a med pack first. Some attacks. And another one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, this is because of that chick, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. What? So I boxed the, uh, the roll against, uh. Help! Daddy! Uh. Help, Daddy. Gotcha. Alright, give me a sword. What do you have? Hopefully a med pack. I'll take a grenade. Did you really just run off? Where's Sir Robin? Alright. I can go a shopping, but not just yet. That has money. <laughs> yeah, I got a funny feeling all these people are the same random stuff. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk you to Zelda. It actually looks like you're just something. standing there. But okay. Useless. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you're welcome here. Seriously? Okay. I'll not have it said that Zelda Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terra. Because they weren't a citizen. Do you require healing or medical supplies? 
I can treat almost any injury or ailment oh. right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Uh, of course, except the rat ghoul disease. Alright, uh, sure. terrible affliction has plagued Terrace terrible for many affliction. generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that okay. live in the undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the undercity breeds the disease, and those infected right. will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. And is there no mm, cure? There is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military uh, okay. base here on Terra were close to perfecting a cure. The then the Sith arrived. They overran the mm -hmm. military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols mm -hmm. they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, yeah, the right rectal disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to I happen. I don't see how that's going to happen. All right. Maybe well, I can get I my hands on that. Get their hands on that serum. The military mm -hmm. base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. Okay, but so I, I gotta find a random guy with the serum over. The serum. And nobody is gotcha. stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Well. You know what? I'll just slide right past well, I am that quite and busy see maintaining what else. the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer Who some would questions. You like to know? What would Everything. you like to know? That's what I'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Republic escape oh. pods. I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Why Those do you pods seem crashed so in the undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Uh-huh. Um, the Sith were already ah. here asking these same questions. Of course I failed questions. it. I'll tell you what I told them. Right. I don't know anything about those pods. Now, is there something Maybe else you need? I should have put those points in charisma instead. All right, of course. Get for Let's sale. Step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very, very reasonable. reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Uh huh. All right. Keeping those. Keeping those. Sell those. Don't need that. Alright, I got 12 med packs now. Strength, stamina, clarity. That requires implant level 2, which I do not have yet. Alright, that requires implant level 3, which I do not have yet. <laughs> Somebody's being funny. This implant maintains an ever-circulating stream of antitoxins in the user, increasing relevant antidotes for specific poisons introduced. Side effects include dry mouth. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Uh, I got a dozen med packs. Let, let me hold off on buying them until at least I get a little bit lower. Alright. Uh, personnel only, huh? Which I hide behind the locked door. Got it. Uh, what are you doing? Don't go in there. Is that that door is for green? employees only. They look like people. You, you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless. Because the unless Sith wouldn't recognize the them as for public soldiers? Uh, all right. I, uh, I guess I oh. better tell you what's going hey. on. I passed. I only hope the Sith don't <laughs> find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. Yeah, I had to but take where's the Republic soldier I'm looking their for? Their injuries are terrible. She Most couldn't possibly survive. be here, could she? But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. Yes. Yeah. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassion. Did I earn hands. bonus points with I hate to name? imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. Yeah, it would since be a shame, their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Uh, da, da, da. It's gonna cost you. That's not neutral good. All right, what can I do? There's to nothing help? more anyone can do for these soldiers. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Oh, I gained some light side points. Okay. Alright, that's good. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. <laughs> I need 
need to talk to yeah, you about this the doesn't sound shady at all. I've got an offer for you. Hey, you might want I got an hear. offer you might want to hear. Zelka's the offer. only one who wants to get his hands on the rack ghoul serum. Okay. Davik Kang will pay you ten ah, times the mob boss will pay you. if you can get the cure. Okay. I don't know that I can book the cure. We're on quarantine. I thought we couldn't get another bandit. Why does he want the cure so bad? He turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Mm -hmm. Not like Zelka, who practically give it away. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, Helping nah. people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits yeah, yeah, for the yeah, cure. Nah. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. Mm -hmm. right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. Just take it he to works Zax. For Davik. He'll know what He'll to do. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. He'll pay you nicely. Okay. Now that we're done with that. Uh oh. Bounty hunters. Davik says sort of you missed your run? last oh, payment. Yeah, <laughs> That was a nice knees you got there. Sure would be a shame if something happened to him, right? Is that what I'm hearing? A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. David can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? Okay. I see where this is going. No! Help! Him? Somebody help! Him? They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but can we okay. just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks Aren't like we got ourselves is? a witness. Havoc <laughs> doesn't like witnesses, huh? Uh. <laughs> Okay. I guess I should have gone with the smart remark. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Fluffy. Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> Light side points gained as you're about to cut a fool. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan yeah. from Davik. No, I really, your wife won't <laughs> warn you not, not to take a loan from a loan shark? Hmm. Just keep more I wonder why she thought that was a bad dead. idea. Alright, uh, what can I do you to help you? already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare well, 100 credits to give me so I can pay off It just so Davik, happens that I won a couple of matches. There you go. 100 credits? Just like that? Just like that? I, I, Just I don't like know that. what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. No, I can pay I want off bonus Davik. points. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Yay. More light side points gained. Besides, I'm sure one of these guys has some money on him, right? All right. That's half my hundred back. Hey, look at that. Between those two yahoos, I ended up breaking up even. Works for me. Da, 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 da. Looting, please wait. Hello, citizen. Oh, yeah. I saw that there was a... Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I could have had to, right? Hey, I... I really didn't want to walk in there. Yes, I want to go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no, I could have had 200, but, uh... Yeah. Neutral good. Neutral good. Staying true to character. I wanted to see what else was around here first. And I think I'm going to have to find the data pack that gets rid of that high-pitched whine. There's a mod that's supposed to turn that off so you don't hear it every what time you walk by one of those things. Coming to, huh? 
Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to the Lar Seju Balog, Swami? This is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. Is this where we start singing uh, get three feet to the wind in an Irish lilt? I mean, how hard is it to persuade a drunk for another drink, right? Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. What's the DC that I got to roll against? A two? Like, can you at least roll higher than a two? Yes, you're right. To offer a drunk another drink. Come on, fellas, let's go. All right. I'll take the XP. Hello, good citizen. All right. What else we got here? All right. Before I start wandering off to either side, let's see. This looks like a great... Listen to me, people. That is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Too late. All right. Friends What's your warning? And fellow humans. I bring you a warning. Oh. A warning of a okay. great plague spreading across our planet. Great plague. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum vermin throughout scum. Paris. Uh, are you referring to I the am speaking of the hideous looking aliens oh. who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees but and like Ephorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, You're never so brave as when you have a Wookiee times. back in you. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the anti You know it's even League. better than having a the Wookiee back yet? Come for action. Having two we Wookiees back yet. cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious <laughs> planet. Uh. You yeah, are like yeah, all yeah. the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you day will suffer reckoning, with yeah. the rest of uh, the alien uh, lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. All right. The evil walks along. among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are... All right, what else we got over here? We've got a hallway. We've got a door. This elevator is off limits. Only set it's patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's okay. obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the hey, Sith hey. patrols. So unless you Let's have the authorization, gotta say about papers, the way I'm dressed. you must move along. I bought that armor from a genuine scum in the bottom of the district. All right. Uh, so we're going to get some to have papers. Those, you know to get them. Now quit wasting my time okay. and move along. All right. Move along then. Move along. Some kind of disguise if like you pass this guy. Thank you, Captain Hinselot. We're gonna need a disguise. I know, a diversion. Speaking of diversions, there's a wonderful black lab that you might have seen on the channels, not yet on. What is looking at me? Like he might want some food. Locked? And cannot be open using the normal security skills. Of course not. Oh, merchant. What do you have to sell, Mr. Merchant? Huh. If the city oh, cared anything about merchant. us, they'd stop that gang war in the lower city. Ah. Oh, gang war in the lower city. Why do I get the feeling that's going to become important later? Alright. No, no. You're just generic citizen number 302. What's well, down the other way, then? Not later. What? I'm not going to deal with the gangs later, or I'm not going to deal with the merchant later? Ah. Are these the droids I'm looking for? Hmm. Oh. You don't sound healthy. Alright, 
Witimembo Rangthong, Muli Ra on Shaturing Um Ni Patoga Wanga Chonzi Tse. As long as the parts are good, like, you know, I don't care who's selling me the droids. Alright. Right. So, let me get a utility droid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Surprising amount of firepower. Why do I get the feeling I'd rather have an assault bird for that? So, all right, let me see the hate unit. We team and bone rank thong. Muli ra on shanturing um nipa doga wanga chonzi tse. I'm going to be fixing this guy the rest of the whole adventure, aren't I? What do yama kama wuna henak neck? Hakuji kapa? Gino mula rak gampiak slim jo pan wan dwa. A wrench. I got a funny feeling I'm going to be fixing this guy. Tangabu shan om nong. Wanga kun beast keen ba mula rak chonzi tse. Why can't you just ask me both of those questions in the beginning? Kava vulpa mulji gumana. Alright, let me see your inventory. Uh -huh. That too is Alright, by the way, is there any stuff I need to offload? I want to keep the med packs, repair kits. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nope, okay. So I can get more repair parts, computer spikes. Great googly moogly, those are expensive. I thought somebody else had them for a hundred. At those prices, uh uh. Okay. Alright. Fine, little droid. Oh, you're the one that didn't sound healthy. Alright. Okay. You're moving a little bit. That's promising. Of course. Um. Hello? Hello? That. Oh. Hey, lady. Randy E. Chawa, Tongbola, Johnny Ku. You know where he is? He's sitting in front of your door, the little scrap heap. Money back guarantee. Oh. <laughs> that little crosswire program. Gotcha. Bananas mm -hmm. You, know, you said the money back guarantee. That means that you have to give me a refund because you told me it was a money back guarantee. The only hard feelings are if I don't get the money back. Oh, I so want to persuade. But the way my role, persuade roles have been going, I'll just say no hard feelings. Yeah, a working droid. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. Onward and forward. Let's see. Well, that's pretty much the run down there. Now, let me go check out the apartments. Yeah, running with a sword still does not look like the safest thing I should be doing right now. That seems like an easy way to fall on your sword. Ooh, the apartments. Now I would like to check out the apartments. I can go breaking and entering everywhere. I mean, uh, examining apartments in this fine establishment. No problem. 
The woods behind the door. Please, Lurga. please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all huh. I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging well. you. Uh, neutral good. You mean you're not here to kill me? But uh, no, I thought you were one loot. of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to I mean, kill me, what do you want? Yeah, I don't think I anyone can help me. <laughs> I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the uh, bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding yeah. here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm Ooh. a dead man. Mm. Oh, I'd better get bonus for this. credits to a stranger just to help them out? Yeah, I don't believe it either. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. I better wow, get some extra credit for that. generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay yeah. off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Go pay him off. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. All right. XP and all that. Actually, I could probably sell those for 200 credits if I really wanted to. All right. That's it. Maybe I can rough somebody else up for the 200. I wonder if any of those Republic space pods survived crash landing in the under... I've got a ton of yeah. things to do today. I can't talk to you. Okay, I can't talk to you either. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, there's some of the money. Stay out of the lower city. That place is okay. overrun with gangs. Overrun? Alright. Are you the only footlocker in here? All three credits. Mm hmm. Rolling in money now. You made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full Yeah, I hadn't finished looting Come the hallway in. yet. You I mean... to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have huh. conquered this planet ages if ago. only somebody Careful, had foreshadowed about that Teresian ale. That one's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles mm. and we'll be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Live a little. Yep. Um... Well, okay then. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to talk to the people passed out on the floor, but sure, let's give it a try. Yeah, no, no, okay. Oh, how convenient. At the blackout drunk party, there's armor. All right. I love how the music stopped too. Like, did somebody turn off the music before passing out? You ever seen a swoop bike? I've seen them at the races yeah, sometimes. They go fast and make they go lots fast of noise. And make lots of noise. No problem. All right. Got it. Don't, don't hurt my family. Look, just take. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home! This is about to not be your stuff either. All eight credits of it. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no. Okay. I've walked around the circle. Alright. I should put on the suit. And see if the Sith Guard lets me go past. But I need money. 
Nah, I don't need money yet. Alright, let's go. Yeah, no. Huh. I would have expected a higher armor bonus than that. This full body armor could be used to fool people into thinking that one was a Sith. Mm-hmm. I mean, except for the part that I'm running with a sword. I totally look like a Sith. Hmm. I wonder if I can use this to go scare some of the people over here. Is this how I deal with this dude? Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all, uh, the, proper all the proper permits to be permits. here. Spreading my message. Feel free to stay uh -huh. and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. I'm sure. You Sith should shut this... Listen to me, people. That is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. You Sith should shut this guy up. I think he's violently dangerous. Just listen to him. Greetings, my Sith. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message. Yeah, okay. The evil hmm. walk... Where? Oh, shut up. There we go. That's the one I want. Is that to there? That's to the apartments. Okay. Among us, the back. enemy is here. So we must there. act now before we are overrun. <laughs> okay. Much as I'd love to go running around in Sith armor, I need better armor. <laughs> Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to save the game because I have not saved once yet. Okay. Alright. What's going on? Ah, gang wars. The Jets are going to win. Is that what I hear? Oh, those are the jets and the sharks. I'm gonna keep up grease music. Get the Travolta for our gun. Okay, I'm a little ways away from the Travolta for. Kipuna, Kavatumpa, strangers. Yeah, it's almost like we've been standing here this whole time. You're a sharp one, aren't you? Alright, since there's nobody else I care about over there. Bam! And what about my good buddy over there? Do you have line of anything? Yeah. I'm blocking the way, aren't I? Of course. What? Well, yes, what's on your mind? Oh! You got it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Because I hit a different button. Run, flurry, and misses. That was easy. So what you get? Okay. Good thing I didn't buy another. Oh, shock stack. Okay. But is it useful? Okay. Med packs are always nice. Let's, uh, all right, let's do this one first. More apartments. Yeah, this looks like the shadier part of town. All right. 
Let's do this. No problem. Got it. Kipuna. Kavatumpa kulpa yia moka So private to you who's could walk in. Yoka kutumpa kulpa yia. Let me guess. Let me guess. Chibedwana ni bobo. You're hiding from Devic, aren't you? Everybody else in the apartment seems to. Hey, I want to persuade. Not dig it. What did you do to earn a bounty? Did your wife also tell you you should borrow money from a loan shark? Yeah, no. no, the killing started getting to you, so it's not that somebody walked up to you and said nice kneecaps. Shame if something happened to him. Oh. So you forgot, snitches get stitches. Alright, that's where I can help you out. Uh -huh. Are you going to make your last stand hiding behind a locked door? Uh, okay. Don't stop until I'm dead. So... He said something about faking it up. What are you, Makawa Mahuhanek? Because I'm not about to kill Davik. Well, I probably will kill him before the tutorial plan is up, but, uh. Alright. Alright. Come on, give me the grand plan. I was hoping you were going to automatically follow that up. Uh -huh. well, how are we gonna manage that one? Bamulislik Mopoda Nawanga Kun Beast Mulira Best Mana Mana Tota Akuchika took Pola Jishok Jonatong Jung King no Una Punk Bamulira Queen City. Thank you for the follow. What a timanyo cola, una no ku mulira, what a wama mulira, king concho pesha, no ba mulira ji. If only you could get your hands on a permacree detonator. We eat a dia, bola una chinek, ba mulira stimola ka kun bis king. Charge him or no? I'm trying to play it neutral good, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean like you're getting ready to drop that bad boy right now, aren't you? You. You, you could say run first and then, you know, put down the explosives. Don't oh, because you're putting down more. <laughs> could, could you tell me you were going to do that before you, you know? That didn't so bad. You're calling that quite the blast. You and I have different definitions. Mm. Yep. Mm. Now that I'm dead? Okay. How you gonna run away? We're under quarantine. You didn't think this one through all the way, did you? I was in hiding. But thanks to you, I'm not in hiding. Except I still gotta hide. 
Okay, I got XP and some light side points. That works. I'm sorry. Those explosions did not cause that damage. What? Ah. Uh, go drunk, game. You're home. Alright. Alright, what about you, Captain Useless? Are you still too far behind to do anything useful? Oh no, okay. I can queue you up for some power blasts. There we go. Sure. Alright. Oh. Yes, that was... what's on your mind? Oh, no, I didn't want to talk to you. You got I wanted it. to fight the guy you running up behind me. Dude, for serious. It is way too easy to talk to you in a conversation. You know that? Hey, I got a grenade back. I like getting grenades back. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. Didn't work. Impossible, huh? All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Twisted Ranker Trio. Is that an alt rock band? Oh, there was something. Else. Oh no. Nah. I couldn't be there with you, but here's the package I promised. Remember, activate the holographic security system in the proper order, or boom. Uh huh. Activate the holograms in the same order that they joined the band. Okay. Still thinks a mistake. Don't want to get Devic mad, or you might never come out of the... Oh, yeah, no. Anyway, good luck if it works. Think about what a chapter... Yeah, okay. So. The order and these guys joined the band. The band. Alright. Where's your book? Uh, there we go. Oh, so I'm going to have to read it through this keyhole. Grab some note. Nothing to write down notes on. Alright. Ranker Trio. The story of the Twisted Ranker Trio. A work in progress. The brains behind the group. The manager. Really? Okay. Uh-huh. Became the first member of the band. That's what I need to know. Yeah, Linda. L-I-N-D-A. Okay. It's kind of find musicians to back her and signed a bit name. Uja. 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 Something like that. All right, soon after, he signed his brother, G. Seriously. Who fell asleep on their keyboard when typing these names? All right, struggled at first. Fantastic singer, not much of a musician. Threat to quit. All right. Dupa. All right, of course, that didn't go over well with the brother, so the brother quit, and so photo. Did he throw a ring into a fire? Or, no, that's Frodo. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, led by the singer, the second became quite popular. Yeah, Davis Kang. Ruben agreed. Big break. Huh. Okay, so without the singing, da 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 da. Ah.
as the new lead singer on the eve of their scheduled appearance. All right. Davik's infamous temper. I feel like I probably ought to note that for later. Okay. You match her sisters. Yeah, it was a risk. There are no further entries. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, so. Need to find Elinda. Uh, I need to find Uja. No, that's Lupa. So that's Ashana. Uji. And Lupa was over here. And then Frodo. I mean, Frodo. There's only one left. There we go. Easy XP. Hey! Another 50 credits and some armor. How nice and armor. Mm, uh, but it is upgradable, so I lose one armor. My dex isn't high enough that the max dex bonus matters. But it is upgradable. Alright. Let me put that on now. Even though I know it's not as good. So I can give this Yahoo something a little bit tougher. Okay. And we'll go with that for now. Nice. One of y'all wouldn't happen to have a armor upgrade on you, would you? Or would that be too convenient? Alright. Oh! Hello, you. You are not what I was expecting. And power shot to you. What? Oh. Seriously. You walked into the room. You can have blasters. Why did you walk into the room? There is no you need for that. That was highly unnecessary. And stupid. And stupidly unnecessary. Hmm. Alright. Roust you for the credits. And what do you have? You got a heavy blaster. And some credits. And some shock sticks and energy shields. Alright. And in the footlocker. Alright, I see it. Yeah, stamina. Okay, that could be useful. And what's in the supplies? My packs. Alright, uh, I could go wasting some med packs. But one of the features of the game is that if you return to the hideout, you heal. And then you can quick transport back. So I'm going to return... Okay. Never mind. I guess I can't be in the apartments when I do that. So... Let's pop one what? of those bad boys. No, oh, you're going to use two of them, aren't you? Wuss. Sure. Alright, uh, I am at level 3. I did want to cap this off at level 5. Because if you just upgrade as you earn XP on Terrace, you will go up to level 8. But that means you'll only have 12 levels of whichever Jedi um, class you choose from there. And I'd rather have 15 levels of Jedi than 12. But I will go ahead and level up. So, I can increase... Ooh. What do I want to increase? Hmm. Charisma would help me with those persuades. 
and it should help with some of the Jedi stuff. Wisdom would help with will and help with some of the Jedi stuff. Uh, constitution would be nice because that would get me some more hit points. Hit points are always nice. I've never heard somebody say I have too many hit points. Hmm. Yeah, let me go ahead and bump the charisma. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me go ahead and bump the charisma. Skills. All the skills. Um, hmm. Oh, that's cross uh, awareness or treat injury. Let me do treat injury. Okay. Bam. Hey, I get implant level two and uncanny dodge. Ooh. What does uncanny dodge get for me? A character with uncanny dodge retains the dexterity bonus to defense even when surprised by camouflage opponents and also gains plus two versus grenades. Okay. Works for me. Alrighty then. Uh, you know what I should probably also do? Save. Yep. I want to overwrite. Okay. You're gonna tell me I could've fixed that guy and had him walking around for me, aren't you? Oh. Hello, boys. I'm not gonna throw a grenade since you seem to be running right towards me. Alright. Yeah. Oh, you like that? I pity the fool. Yeah, these these <laughs> the these combat encounters seem to either be absolutely easy or you best have all the med packs. There doesn't seem to be much of a uh, middle ground. That looks like a box. Come on, give me the loot. Yeah, sure. I'll repair it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste the parts. I just want the XP for repairing it. No XP for repairing it? Alright, um... Will that get me XP? I thought I got XP for doing some of that stuff. There we go. Alright. Hmm. You didn't make it around the corner yet, have you? Okay, no, you did. Bam. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, because he's back there. That's why home skillet's dead before I even walked up. You look like a nice droid. How do I take you home with me? There's room in my party for one more. No? Okay. And we're back at the beginning. Alright, so... I am going to try to fast travel back to the apartments. Yep. Because we are edging up on three hours. And I do still have to go to work tomorrow. So. This is where I'm going to go ahead and save it. Dave. Yep. Okay. 
and this is where I bid you all adieu. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching the gameplay. I've tried to match the pacing so it's not dragging, but we're not speed gaming through. Um, we will do this again at the very least next week. Uh, so next Thursday at 6 p.m. we'll start this up again. If I find some extra days, I might do a surprise stream somewhere along the way. Uh, or I might do one of the other two game streams because this is the third uh, third series that I've got going during the week. On Tuesdays, I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server at coffeecraft.us where you'll find all about all the information about the server and the people playing on it. And we do that Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, minus 4 UTC. And on Fridays, tomorrow, I play World of Tanks. I've usually got a couple of friends on for that one, too. We platoon together. Uh, we jokingly have been calling that one the 47% because we make the top half possible. <laughs> so if you're looking for stunning gameplay, uh, it fits in spurts. This is more for the entertainment value and uh, maybe to feel a little bit better because, you know, look at that guy on the stream, that kind of thing. So Tuesdays, Coffee Craft, 7 p.m. Thursdays is going to be Games Revisited at 6 p.m. And Fridays going to be World of Tanks, the 47% at 7 p.m. Uh, depending on how things go, I may start bumping those two back from 7 to 6. It depends a lot on work schedules, because I do like starting a little bit earlier and either getting more game time or finishing up just a little earlier, because uh, I've got to be up at 4 in the morning for work during the week, and that gets kind of fun. So again, thank you for following along. Have a good night.